Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. Hope you all having a great day. I'm a little late to the party, but here are my empties for February. Uh, we were in Florida the end of February, so I really didn't have a chance to record this. But I have a lot of good little empties in here, so I don't want it to go missed, okay? And I know some of you really enjoy this, and I know some of you don't even like this. But we'll fly, we'll go with it, okay? Alright, so the first thing I have in here is my large, super rich moisture condition. And this is uh, Colorproof Evolved Color Care uh, Super Rich Moisture Conditioner and it is 100% vegan, gluten free, sulfate free and salt free. This is a very nice conditioner. It does have a pepperminty smell and your head does get a little chilly and tingly when you're using it. But I really do like it. I feel the condition of my hair is really nice when I use this. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I would buy it again. Very expensive. Very expensive. But I would buy it again. But I'm not buying anything because, you know, I have about 30 bottles of shampoo and conditioner. And I've told myself, you know, all these women that go on a no-go buy and no buy and no this and that. And I think, well, I'm just as bad as them when it comes to the shampoo and the conditioner. Because I don't buy a lot of makeup and I do buy a lot of skincare. I can't lie. But I buy tons of shampoos, conditioners, and masks. And then I have a bunch of them opened all at once. So I've decided... That's what I'm not buying until I'm done. The next thing I have, this is Simply Saline for contact lenses. Uh, I use this after I've taken them out of the disinfectant and then I uh, spray them and rinse them with this. This is what my eye place has told me to do. And uh, I really like this. You can get this at a um, Rite Aid or eye places sell it. Uh, the next thing I finished was my uh, contact lens cleaner. And this is the one that I use. Grocery store, TJ Maxx everywhere. I brought my toothpaste. Now, I have a lot of people ask me, and I don't think I will do a video specifically on this. Um, I have a lot of people ask me how I get my teeth so white. I don't think my teeth are so white, but you have to remember I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea, I don't drink pop, I don't drink fruit juices, you know, that are heavily colored. Uh, so I think that I'm just lucky, although with age I have noticed that my teeth are yellowing. Now I have extremely sensitive teeth, so I cannot do any whitening systems to them. I've tried and I suffer for days and days and days. And sometimes I think those at-home ones, people do too much of them and then they start getting like almost clear looking white teeth. So uh, this is the toothpaste I've been using since it came out. And I do use the Gentle Whitening Formula. It is the only one I can use, and it is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel. Um, on the back it says, you know, only use for a little bit of time, and then if the pain, if your sensitivity persists, you should see a dentist. I have seen my dentist, and they told me there's nothing wrong with my teeth except that they're sensitive. So uh, I can go ahead and use this all the time, and I do. The next thing I finished up was an It's a 10 Dry Shampoo. You know, I, you all know that I wash my hair daily, but I do add, like to add some texture to my hair. And this one here is the only one that does not leave that white dusty grit to me or that nasty, oh, straw-like feel that so many of the dry shampoos do. And you would think that the companies would really perfect these because so many people use them. But I do love this, and I will purchase it again. It leaves your hair very shiny. Okay, the next thing is something Joelle sent me. It's a moisturizing night body care. And it is by uh, Roche Cavellas. This is the name of the company. And this was a really nice creamy night cream that had a really pretty scent to it. It wasn't too uh, harsh, but it's a very intense moisturizing cream for nuit, for night. So I really liked that. I finished that up. She sent me that a while ago, but I liked it, especially in the summer because it did moisturize, but it wasn't real uh, thick and coat. It didn't leave a coating, but it did leave a slip to your skin. Okay, of course, you all know that I love the Nubian Heritage soaps. I finished up a couple, but I saved the coconut papaya and uh, papaya soap with vanilla beans. Uh, I um, love them. Love them, love them, love them. The next thing I finished up was, um, I didn't finish these up. I wanted to talk about them. Oh, uh, for this is something for my smoothies, but since many consider me the smoothie queen because of my smoothie dance, whatever, um, I, um, I used to use the Garden of Life raw protein powder, and I always had a problem with one thing, and that is the texture of the powder. It does not dissolve into the smoothies really well, uh, like a whey protein does. Now, um, I never, I got used to that, but 
uh, it was always just a plain. They didn't have flavors. Well, for a while they've had flavors and they have a vanilla and they have a chocolate, and I think they also have a strawberry now. Uh, I don't like the texture of this protein powder at all, and most of the flavored raw protein powders, the stevia is way beyond what I can control, what I can handle as far as taste. But this one was not bad. I would not buy it though, but it was not bad. I did try a single serve pack, and it is the Garden of Life raw protein. I would not buy this piece, okay? Then I used up, um, I actually got this as a gift to me. My little friend Michelle uh, sent this to me. I love the Creme de Cor by Kiehl's, and I had never used the uh, body washing cream, but for winter it was very, very nice, and this is the Creme de Cor nur Nurturing Body Wash washing cream with jojoba and shea butters. Very nice for dry skin. Nice soft scent to it. Loved it. Another washing cream that I used, and this one was from Joelle and was really, really nice, is by Topi Cream. And it is for severely dry skin. Hello, crazy Miss Tammy crocodile lady. Uh, and this one is the shower cream. It cleanses, protects, and moisturizes. I really liked this one too. In the U.S., this will be almost impossible for us to find anywhere unless you go online. But for my European friends, this is going to be something you'll be able to find more. Very nice. Uh, I, I think the top, Topi Cream is a very affordable line too. The next thing I finished up is an Ecranol nail polish remover. You know I love the Ecranol products. I finished that up. Uh, I finished up a Sicily Gel Express. This is their Express Flower Gel Hydrating Toning and Firming Mask. I've, I've talked about this before. I use this in the morning when I first get up. I put it on my face. It's like a five minute mask just to give it a nice boost. And uh, Sicily products are expensive, but they are worth every single penny you pay for them. That's how I feel about them. I finished up my Caudalio uh, Premier Accru Eye Cream. This is very nice. The company kind of put this out. It's, it, this costs just about under $100. But what the company did is this is the serum and eye cream. So um, I did like this. I would purchase it again because I just have a soft spot in my heart for uh, Caudalie. And I... Um, I do like this. Okay, the next thing I finished up was, and I've had this for a long time, Joelle sent this to me, is the Felorga Laboratories. It's the anti-wrinkle lightening mask. I really liked this. This is a um, heavy-duty uh, skincare line that has a lot of peels and masks. It's very nice. I also finished my Caudalie uh, Night Infusion Cream. I love this. I would buy this again. This is not my first one. I've purchased this several times. Uh, then this is a cream that Joelle sent me a very long time ago. I thought about not showing it because it's a very expensive cream. But uh, I think we have to realize here on YouTube uh, that there are all types of women watching us. And uh, some women spend money on certain things and not so much on other things. Like I'm not, I'm not one to go and buy really expensive clothing and stuff like that. But for my face or my food that I put in my body, I spend money. But for clothes, and I don't need to have all of the higher end. I think they're all gorgeous, and I think they look beautiful. But I, um, for me, maybe because I never stay the same size, so I'd be wasting money. Oh, and there's a girl I follow on Instagram. Her name, and I think, oh, she's just so classy and stylish. Her clothing is all beautiful. High end, gorgeous. Not all super high end. She does shop in the malls. Mrs. B53. Oh, go check out her on Instagram. She's really got some nice looks going on. But anyway, this is the um, Lord de Vie Le Cream by Dior. Uh, I think you're paying mostly for this jar because it weighs about, you know, three pounds. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, lightweight, gorgeous cream that if you uh, are someone that really likes to have high end skincare, this is a beautiful cream. Okay? Also, I finished up the um, Orchid Imperial Lotion by Galan. Uh, this was nice. I wouldn't run out and buy this again. It was very, very nice, but there are other toners that I think are equally as good. I'm using another one by Galan right now, though. It's their Bee Venom one. Oh, it's really nice. Really nice. Okay, so I, I like that. Uh, I also finished up my a bottle of my blue uh, serum of my Ecranol. I love Ecranol nail products. I will continue to use them as long as they are available. I think 
that they have improved the condition of my nails leaps and bounds. Okay? All right, so I'm just going to quickly brush through. Oh, and then, well, this one I haven't really finished up, so I'm not going to. I just wanted to do a quick mention that I found some more finds at uh, TJ Maxx. And this is, these are for eyes and lip mask, which I know it's not easy to find eye and lip mask. But this is by Spa Life, and this is an Espresso Vitamin E. So be on the lookout for those. I've used some of the masks, they're very nice, and this is a hydrating collagen lip mask. I was hoping that it would give me uh, gorgeous Angelina Jolie lips, but so far it has not, but it does keep them really moisturized and conditioned, and both, this was $4.99, this was $3.99, so it's, and you get 12 of them in this one, and you get six in this one, so I just wanted to mention that in my empties. I got hair going all over the place. And just quickly, 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 I'm going to show some of my masks that I used. Um, of course, I use creams and other types of masks, but I don't show them all the time because they're not emptied yet. So uh, these, most of my masks this time are all by Martini. I have used the Hyaluronic. I use, and the Hyaluronic is great for moisturizing. The Cactus Collagen Mask truly surprised me. Uh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. I have used the grapeseed collagen mask, which I love. All of these masks I do uh, sell. Many of you have already been fortunate enough to get in on the sale. I'm going to do it one more time, and I'll let you all know when that will be. Uh, oh, I'm dripping all over my mask serum. Okay, the avocado collagen. I'm going to put it over the basket here. They're all leaking. The avocado collagen. Fabulous, fabulous. I have nothing bad to say about any of these masks. Coconut collagen mask, wonderful. Um, and the longer you leave these masks on, the better. The Blueberry Skin Renewal a Collagen Mask. I don't believe I've sold this one uh, in any of my sales. I uh, didn't even think to get it for this next one either. But this is a really nice one too. And then, of course, I used a Lano Cream Manuka Honey Face Mask. And these I found at TJ Maxx. I just bought two more boxes for Joelle because she loves these. So uh, I'm going to send some of those to her. She gets all the Martini Mask too. Okay, so the next thing uh, is the Mascology Revitalizing Eye Gel with Pearl Powder. As you can see, they're still stuck on there. These were very nice. I got those at TJ Maxx also. Uh, I used up a sample of the Caviar Moisture Shampoo and Moisture Conditioner. Um, it's okay. It's highly fragranced. Okay, so I wanted to throw that in there. I also got a sample of the Glam Glow Mud Mask Moisture Mask. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. Then I used up my, I used uh, Shiseido Pure Retinal uh, Eye Mask. I've been using these for umpteen million years because that's how old I am. But um, they are fabulous eye mask. They truly are. I also used up a, uh, Joelle sent me these and these are, oh, Payote, Payote, Payote. Uh, P-A-Y-O-T. But she sent me those, and I used up one of those. I also used up... Now, this um, this line here, I tried to do a um, sample Sunday with it. But the video, for some reason, didn't turn out. But these uh, are... A woman has a site where she sells these. And they're 100% paraben-free, synthetic, fragrance-free, dermatology tested, allergy tested. It's a power, power Glow Peel, which is very similar to Dr. Gross's peels. I will put um, the information below for these. It's M-61, Powerful Skin Care. Cherry Antioxidant Mask. Snail Collagen Mask. The Cranberry Firming Mask. The Chocolate Moisture Mask. The Detoxify Anti-Ginger Mask. And another Hyaluronic. And another Cucumber. Not another, I just... Uh, <clears throat> I did one this morning, but I put it in today. So, okay, so there you go. That is my empties for the week. What do you find that you use up uh, regularly? Because I know there are so many creatures out there like me that we buy a bunch of stuff and we dabble here and there and we use it. But when you use up something, that means you really, really like it. So down below, mention what you know you constantly use up. Share it with us. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, and most of all, peeps, be lovable. Be lovable. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. Bisous.